Well, they're cute, though perhaps more carnivorous than cuddly, and they once roamed much of Australia. But since Europeans came, well, not so much. Called Chudich in the Noongar language of Western Australia, 11 of the tiny critters recently took a short trip to find a new home on board a domestic Qantas flight. Was it all in the name of conservation or frequent flyer points? Over the last eight years or so, the Australian Wildlife Conservancy has been undertaking a major species reintroduction program here. And earlier this year, we reintroduced and released on the sanctuary the tenth native mammal species, the Chudich or Western Quoll. The initial releases were from wild individuals sourced from wild populations down in southern WA, and they've been doing really well which meant that just a couple of weeks ago we were able to work with the Stronger Conservation Society breeding program based out at their Western Plains Zoo in Dubbo to source 11 additional Chudich to release on the sanctuary from their breeding program. So we flew them over from New South Wales to their new home. They got picked up on a Wednesday morning. After a quick health check, they were loaded onto a van and driven from Dubbo all the way to Sydney, about a five hour trip on the road. And then from Sydney airport, they flew out to Perth on a Qantas flight, the 1125 uh, Sydney to Perth. I was lucky to get to go and meet them then at Perth Airport, where we took them 15 minutes up the road to a facility called Native Animal Rescue, based in Perth, where they then stayed for a couple of days just so that we could monitor them and check they were doing well after their journey and to give them a little chance to catch their breath after a big day on the road. On that Friday morning, I went and met them at the facility, collected them up, and drove them out to Sanctuary, where that evening, once it was dark and they'd had another little health check, we let them out into the wild. So we've got a nice large sanctuary here for them, 130,000 hectares, so there's certainly plenty of space for them to settle in and establish territories. We've kept the fox and feral cat population under control, so they've got a safe space to settle in and breed. And we've been very lucky this year that we've already seen evidence of our newly released quolls breeding out on Sanctuary. During our standard health checks where we catch some of the quolls back out of the wild and give them a quick checkup, we found that at least two or three of the females have got pouch young in their pouch. And we'll be getting to the time of year now where we'd be expecting those young to be emerging into the world. So to get to this stage is exciting. And the quolls particularly being the first predator we've released, being able to release them beyond our feral predator proof fence, seeing them roam in that broader landscape. It's just incredibly special. You know, they're Western Australia's top marsupial predator and to see them back on this country after probably decades, you know, if not close to a hundred years, it's just so exciting.